The biggest area of interest for me right throughout my research career has been neurological infections and neurological disease. So the ultimate step then was to think about an application. From a UK perspective, one in every 550 people now has a diagnosis of Parkinson's and it's a long-term neurodegenerative condition. So Parkinson's is a good choice and we are aiming to take a glove-based monitoring system from um, the manufacturing stage to a patient with Parkinson's being able to use it at home. We have a strong um, partnership with Calderdale and Huddersfield NHS Trust. We have a consultant uh, neurologist there, Dr. Walid Moafi, and he is partnering with us to do all the task development and linking back to neurological assessments. The final partner is the firm who makes the glove, and this is an Indian uh, firm called Axonet. So the first secondment, there's no way we could have actually progressed the glove without that, because consultants are very expensive and we didn't have a strong collaborative link without some funding. So the glove, it's just easy, uh, soft fabric that the patient can just put on and take off. We're particularly interested in velocity measurements, aperture measurements, and also pressure measurements because generally speaking, the lack of dopamine affects the motor control, which affects all aspects of movement. The main objectives are to first of all design robust tasks, the second is to assess our tasks by measuring volunteer patients and then the final stage is all of the NHS ethics and applications so that hopefully we'll be able to test that glove in a series of patients who would be willing to take part in our trial. The glove enables us to monitor at home in the patient's personal uh, environment. So the NHS can save money and can use the system to tailor the appointment when the patient needs it. But there are also secondary benefits for other healthcare personnel. So for example, physio and occupational therapists, it would be very beneficial for them to have that information because they could design um, exercises and supportive therapies. The really uh, big benefit of Leeds and the aspect of being based here is the fact that you actually have the strengths in research and the strengths in enterprise together in the one place. And the reason why the secondments are so good is because they give you that bit of money to get that initial development work done. And the other part of it is to give us money for patient volunteers. That actually brings the people that we need here. They bring everybody together. Um, that's the point about it. Mm -hmm.